An Oceana woman is trying to recover nearly $25,000 after she says she was scammed by people claiming to be PayPal employees. PayPal. PayPal's PayPal. PayPal. PayPal's reputation is taking a hit as criminals are upping their game and a new twist to a nasty scam that's taking millions from consumers. Imagine this, a group of tech titans who not only co-founded PayPal, but also went on to shape the future of the digital universe. We're talking about the infamous PayPal Mafia. These aren't just your run-of-the-mill entrepreneurs. They're the people who've invested in or created the tech giants that rule our lives today. But how do they rise to such prominence? A group that has left an indelible mark on the tech world, Peter Thiel is like the dawn of the PayPal Mafia, with a reputation that precedes him. He's not just the co-founder of PayPal, he's also the brains behind Palantir, a data analytics company that has gained immense popularity. Beyond Palantir, Thiel is famous for being an early investor in Facebook. His initial investment played a pivotal role in the social media giant's success, and he even had a cameo in the Social Network movie. However, Peter Thiel is not without controversy. He's an open supporter of former President Donald Trump and a rare Republican voice in the liberal world of tech. His political stance has raised eyebrows and sparked debates. Max Levchin, known as the consigliere of the PayPal Mafia, is no less impressive. He's the guy who made online transactions safer for all of us. Levchin's claim to fame lies in his contributions to fraud prevention technology. He was pivotal in developing the earliest version of the CAPTCHA tests, those annoying but effective puzzles that help websites distinguish humans from bots. Thanks to Levchin's work, we've all encountered CAPTCHA tests at some point, proving that he's a behind-the-scenes hero in the fight against online fraud. If you've ever watched a video on YouTube, and who hasn't, you owe a nod to Jad Karim. He's one of the co-founders of this video-sharing giant. Karim's claim to fame is even more specific. He uploaded the very first video on YouTube, titled Me at the Zoo. This seemingly unremarkable video marked the beginning of an internet revolution, making him an integral part of internet history. Which brings us to the influence of the PayPal Mafia. Now that we've met the key players, let's deep dive into the profound impact the PayPal Mafia has had on the tech world and what sets them apart from the rest. One of the most striking aspects of PayPal's Mafia's influence is its strategic investments in tech giants. These individuals have an uncanny knack for spotting promising startups and backing them. Some of the notable companies that have received investments from this formidable group include Figma, Stripe, Compass, Sockdog, Airbnb, Facebook, and Spotify, among many others. It's almost like a seal of approval in the tech world when the PayPal Mafia invests in your venture. Perhaps the most famous member of the PayPal Mafia, Elon Musk, needs no introduction. He's the visionary behind Tesla, the electric car company that has revolutionized the automotive industry. Musk's SpaceX ventures aim to put humans on Mars, showing his commitment to pushing the boundaries of human exploration. His combination of ambition and innovation has made him a tech icon. Yishan Wang may not be as well known as Musk, but his stint as the CEO of Reddit left a significant mark on the online world. Reddit has become a hub for discussions, memes, and internet culture. Wang's leadership at Reddit during 2011 to 2014 played a vital role in shaping the platform into what it is today. We've already met Zhao Karim one of the co-founders of YouTube, but Steve Shen and Chad Hurley complete the trio. YouTube has become synonymous with online video sharing, changing how we consume content. Their creation of YouTube paved the way for a new era of internet entertainment, allowing users to share their stories, talents, and creativity with the world. Let's rewind the clock to the late 90s and uncover the fascinating beginnings of PayPal, as well as the unique company culture that shaped it. Our story starts in 1998, 
when three brilliant minds, Peter Thiel, Max Levchin, and Luke Nosek, co-founded a company called Confinity. Now, Confinity wasn't initially focused on digital payments. Instead, it was exploring various solutions in the world of online payments. At the time, the concept of e-commerce was still in its infancy. Small online businesses struggled to find a reliable platform for digital transactions, and that's where Confinity saw an opportunity. After experimenting with several ideas, the team stumbled upon a game-changing concept, a payment system they called PayPal. Do you know how revolutionary PayPal was when it first launched? Comment down below, and while you're at it, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like this video as well. This system allowed users to transfer money digitally, which was revolutionary in the early days of e-commerce. PayPal quickly became the golden ticket for online transactions, simplifying the way people bought and sold goods on the internet. It's safe to say that PayPal played a pivotal role in shaping the e-commerce landscape we know today. Could the company culture have something to do with this? Think of Peter Thiel, one of the masterminds behind PayPal, had a rather unconventional approach to meetings. Rumor has it that he'd stroll into meetings at the PayPal office and, if he felt the discussion didn't require it, he'd promptly put an end to it. That's right, he despised meetings. Thiel believed in the value of time and was a strong advocate for making meetings meaningful and efficient. This aversion to unnecessary meetings helped create a culture of productivity and focused decision-making. Here's a nugget of wisdom from Thiel. I wanted to build a company where everybody would be really great friends and no matter what happened with the company, the friendship would survive. This philosophy extended beyond just hiring friends. It included recruiting potential friends as well. Many of the early PayPal employees were individuals who had crossed paths with Thiel during his days at Stanford University. This emphasis on camaraderie and shared values was a cornerstone of PayPal's culture. PayPal wasn't just about hiring friends, it also had a knack for tapping into the potential of university talent. Max Levchin, for instance, hired numerous classmates from his college days in Chicago. This practice highlighted the value of forming connections during one's education and leveraging those relationships in the professional world. It also underscored the importance of identifying and nurturing talent early on. But what was the impact at the end of the day? The members of the PayPal Mafia have achieved unparalleled success as both investors and entrepreneurs. Their track record speaks volumes about their ability to spot innovation and nurture startups to success. Whether it's Peter Thiel's co-founding of Palantir, Elon Musk's ventures with Tesla and SpaceX, or Max Levchin's pivotal role in the development of capture technology, each member has left an indelible mark on the tech landscape. The PayPal Mafia isn't just an exclusive group, they maintain strong connections with the broader entrepreneurial community. Their influence extends beyond their immediate ventures as they actively engage with and mentor emerging startups. Initiatives like Teal's Fellowship Program, which supports young innovators, exemplify their commitment to nurturing the next generation of tech leaders. Despite its success, the PayPal Mafia has faced its fair share of criticisms and controversies. One notable critique is the lack of diversity within their ranks, particularly in terms of gender and racial inclusivity. Some argue that the group's strong influence has contributed to a lack of opportunities for women and people from diverse backgrounds in the tech industry. These criticisms highlight the need for a more inclusive tech ecosystem.